Hi everyone, I'm Daniel from Efficient Computer. I'm on the Embedded Engineering team. We recently launched our Electron E1 processor and have had some great questions on how we conduct our benchmarks. I'm here to show you how we conduct those tests. Here's a closer look at our testing setup. In the center, we have our Electron E1 chip. On the left, we've taken a widely available dev kit, which we bought from an online distributor. This product has an ARM Cortex M33 integrated. We will be running a fast Fourier transform benchmark, which is a crucial operation in many applications, including DSP and audio processing applications like hearing aids. For this demonstration, we've set the parameters to 4096 bins, looping the test for 1000 iterations. We're running a test here to show how much more efficient E1 is than the M33 based competitor. Each of the larger plots shows power consumption over time. The amber line represents our processor and the yellow line shows the competitor. At the start of each graph, the device is being programmed. And when you see this shift in power, that's when the program actually starts running. At the bottom of the screen, there are two digital inputs that show the state of the hardware pin telling us when each processor is performing the workload. Already, we can see that E1 is performing the task in less than a third of the time. The competitor's device draws an average of 16.6 .6 milliwatts of power. The software calculates energy consumption by integrating power, and the competitor uses 17.7 .7 microwatt hours or 64 millijoules of energy. In comparison, when our device is running the workload, it draws just 6.5 milliwatts of power. It uses 2.08 microwatt hours or 7.5 millijoules of energy. The data in this test shows that the Electron E1 uses 8.5 times less energy and finishes the task three times faster.